Hello, Dr. Mintz here. This is a four-week old with vomiting, and this is a study we do to look for pyloric stenosis. You can see here that we're in the right upper quadrant. You have some liver, gallbladder. It may not be obvious to you, but you would find that out. And here we see this structure, which is the pylorus. Here you can see the gastric antrum. It actually has some fluid in it. So measuring the length of the pylorus, determining if it is fixed or if it's opening regularly to the left to uh, let gastric content out, helps us determine if pyloric stenosis is present. We uh, make the diagnosis based on the length of the pylorus as well as the thickness of the pyloric wall. This is an abnormally thick pyloric wall. The length is upper limits of normal. But most importantly, we were able to get a succession of images, all of which were very sharp and clear. And that alone is suggestive of pyloric stenosis because normally the pylorus is a very dynamic, moving area, especially in someone, a child who's just eaten. So here we have a stomach full of formula, and it's not emptying at all. And this pylorus is fixed with a thick wall, borderline extended the increased length, uh, but that's sometimes the case. And watching this under real-time ultrasonography, we did not see any gastric content emptying through the pyloric channel. So these are all different images of the same structure. This just looks like a mess unless you're told what exactly we're looking at, and then maybe you'd see that this is that structure. So this is a pretty classic, this is a cross-sectional view. The other ones are longitudinal. This is a fairly classic view of pyloric stenosis, thick-walled pylorus. There's the gallbladder.